welcome to my channel it's me Sarah and for my first video I've decided to make a video about long distance relationship since this has been a part of my journey um, I have been in a five years long distance relationship with my husband now and I'm telling you it's a hard work it takes a lot of effort looking back it gave me goosebumps because it's it's really a hard work you know but then it's all worth it so for any of you who are currently in a long distance relationship right now or and still undecided to have a go with it i hope this video will inspire you so for my tip number one is to start right you have to have a clear understanding of what do you expect in this relationship are you two gonna be exclusive or is it all right for the other person to go on dates are you looking for a long-term plan because for some they cannot do the long distance relationship because they want that person to be with them physically make sure that before you your relationship gets deeper make sure that you are on the same page because you're gonna be investing so much time emotion and effort so if you are not both up to it then you're just wasting your time and also you have to consider if you live um, like far from each other for example if you live not in the same um, place would you consider moving in in a long-term plan so this should be clarified in the very beginning before you even get started in the relationship to make it work number two is to have an open communication well I must admit I struggled with this at the very beginning of our relationship because I am not good in expressing myself I am not good in words that's 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 how I put it in but then um, I've learned it eventually that you need to have an open communication with your partner because since you are not together since you uh, we only um, we only commu we only communicate via video or chat and we're not physically together so it is hard for me to express what I really feel like what I really think so I was hoping that you know he can read me or something like that but then we struggle I struggled a bit with that but then with the help of my husband he really encourages me to have an open communication because yeah it is really true that it will not gonna work you know you will have a problem along the way but you have to have an open communication in that way as well you will feel more connected with each other we make sure that we we we, we involved each other in our day day-to-day day -day life and we talked everything under the sun for five years we talked every day of the every day in the year there are only like two two or three times within that period of five years that we didn't talk so even if it's like stupid things that I've done or I am sad I am angry that's how open we are uh, in this which is very very helpful because you don't expect the other person especially if you're just talking on via video or like internet you cannot expect that person to guess what's in your mind and what you're feeling because he is not a psychic or something and eventually if that will go on you will affect him in a way that is of course he's worried about you but you don't know what's going on with you so you both have a transparency in your communication my tip number three is trust you two have to trust each other in order for the relationship to work because you you could be with the person you are in relationship with you could be with your partner but still they cheat on you so it doesn't matter if you are in a long distance relationship before you get even started with your relationship you have to like trust each other all in or nothing at all if you have the trust in your relationship and if you trust each other then you have the freedom in your relationship meaning you two can both have your individual life without getting paranoid or insecure 
um, in our case trust issues has not been an issue because in the first place we don't give each other um, the reason not to trust each other so for my tip number four is embrace your independence you have to love your freedom in a way that you don't have to stop your life revolving just around your partner you have to keep yourself busy by giving yourself a uh, me time uh, spend time with your friends do some hobbies you know make time with your families it's normal to miss your your partner but you have to feel that void inside you by loving yourself first so if you are complete like if you're whole as a person then then you can give more to your partner and in that way as well by keeping yourself busy you ease the tension in your relationship and it will make you a more complete individual it's like what you cannot give what you don't have so enjoy your independence while you still have it because if you are together you will miss it. number five is be intimate with each other it could be surprises surprise each other or make each other um write each other a letter a poem or a picture collage we, we, we used to do that um make him feel love be, make him feel love even if you are at miles miles away from each other since you are not there to be physically together to kiss or touch or hugged you have to develop your other senses to show each other how much you know each other uh, we used to do this um, game like guess what's on your mind I uh, guess what's on my mind it's like we just stare each other in the eyes it's through through the 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 the, the huh, through the computer through Skype we used to we used to um, use the Skype uh, we would just like look each other in the eye and then okay guess what am I thinking right now and because we are so connected with each other that we always um, we always get to know watch on each other's mind for me it, it's so intimate it is very intimate because we we very felt so connected we like think the same we felt the same so you have to develop with that senses you have to develop because it's you know it's it's more intimate because there could there are some couples that they are together most of the time but they don't feel this this connection within them they don't feel the same they don't feel um, exactly the same they don't feel as connected as what we had for my tip number six is to have a team mindset you have to have this you and me against the world kind of thing that everything you will endure everything you've been through it will be attainable it will be achievable if you are together you have to work as a team to reach your goal and support each other inspire each other because together you are stronger that being said my tip number seven is to believe in your relationship you have to be confident in your relationship that no matter what the people say no matter how hard the journey could be always remember that this is not forever it is just temporary and you will always see the light at the end of the tunnel i have been in a long distance relationship for five years and we just see each other once a year so for 11 months we were just long distance we were far away from each other but i never had a doubt that we couldn't make it i always believed in it that we could be together i always believed in a relationship that no matter how all the struggles we've been through we ended up to be stronger together if you guys have some tips to share with your journey right now please write a comment down below and please like and subscribe my channel and i'm seeing you all in my next video bye